sigh of relief in the market. I mean, look at the stock. It's up nearly 8% in, in the OT. That's certainly a different story than what happened last time. Well, the biggest <laughs> issue last quarter for Facebook was the fact that they were losing users, like you referenced. And if they're able to grow users, then it changes the game for them. The, you don't really uh, find a way to make your living as a shrinking social network. Look at Pinterest right now. Disastrous, the, the um, contraction that they're seeing. Facebook growing, that's important. Um, you know, I think that the revenue guidance is, is a concern, right? They're still being hit by Apple, probably inflation and other uh, uh, macro factors that we're seeing across the economy. But number one is they have to be able to grow, and they're growing, so that's why the market's reacting. This Josh, way. you know, that last print last quarter had people wondering perhaps whether we had seen peak Facebook. You know, a first ever drop in DAUs. I'm wondering if we're still thinking that today there is competition to worry about TikTok and Snap, other things that people are doing today, maybe different than Instagram. What do you think? Yeah, and now on the horizon, uh, my my friend uh, Dan McMurtry at Super Mugatu on Twitter likes to bet against companies where they end up with a competitor that's like being locked in a cage with an axe wielding psychopath. Uh, a reinvigorated Twitter uh, don't believe the hype about we're closing down ads. If anything, they may get even more aggressive in competing for eyeballs, for ad revenue, for everything um, with something like an Instagram. So I, I, don't love, I don't love the setup here. I like the fact that the stock was able to bounce rather than violate those COVID level lows, which is about 150 to 160 a share. If we're not going to visit those levels tomorrow, I guess that's a good thing that's somewhat constructive. Uh, but technically, this thing is still in no man's land. And as we've learned, don't trust the post-earnings bounce. They almost never last. So far, that's been a pretty good rule of thumb uh, for investors on the day after earnings. Maybe this one will snap that, uh, will snap that narrative. But until it happens, I wouldn't be saying the coast is clear in this name. Uh, it's but just I mean, the, the, a lot of damage and a lot of people trapped in the stock.